Hi, welcome to Bookie. Today we will unlock the book, Dr. Tatiana's Sex Advice to All Creation. In nature, most showy and beautiful creatures exist for the sake of sex. Plants, in order to spread pollen to as many mates as possible, produce gorgeous blossoms that attract bees. Some animals use their splendid appearances to attract attention from the opposite sex, while others become extremely talented singers or dancers. Every note and every movement they make is an anxious cry, pick me. Pick me. They also duel with those of the same sex to secure successful reproduction and an excellent mate. The battle of the sexes begins, and Dr. Tatiana's sex advice to all creation gives us a faithful account of this struggle. Olivia Judson is an evolutionary biologist. She holds a doctorate from Oxford and is currently a research fellow at Imperial College London. She is regarded by many as a sex expert, and she believes the world of sex to be very exciting. With humorous, lively language and her academic background in biological evolution, Judson writes Dr. Tatiana's sex advice to all creation with the intent to show us the variety of sex life. According to Judson, there is nothing more important, more interesting and more troublesome than sex. From an evolutionary point of view, the goal of life is simple, to survive and reproduce. If you reach this goal, you've successfully passed your genes onto your offspring, who will spread them further. This will go on generation after generation, and your life will not have been a waste. But for many species, this seemingly simple goal is no easy task. Females want to have more kids, especially stronger and smarter ones, so they naturally want to have more partners. In other words, they want more options, since this leads to a higher chance of success. However, males think differently. They say, I have no problem with more kids, but they must be mine. Their views, contradictory and unified at the same time, result in the great battle of the sexes that has gone on for millions of years. This age-old battle has brought so many brutal conflicts, but it's also what has made the world as thriving as it is. According to Darwin's theory of natural selection, the battle of the sexes allows for the continuation of good genes and the end of bad ones. But how indeed can we win this battle? Is it possible for anyone to escape from it? Next up, we will explore the major contents of this book in three parts. Part 1 the lifelong pursuit of females is to give birth to many quality children. Part 2. The lifelong pursuit of males is to ensure that they are the father of the children. Part 3. The battle of the sexes is cruel but indispensable.